Hi, my name is Peanut Butter. I'm the creator of the Avatar Creatures mod. This is a quick video explaining how to use the mod to convert an avatar, in this case a VRChat avatar, into a file for the mod to work. So first step is to copy your project. So make a complete copy of the whole project and open that up. Next, you want to go into Thunderstore and open up your profile, like the location of your profile. Um, and that's pretty easy. You just go into Thunderstore like this and you find locations and you go browse data folder or actually browse profile folder and you open that up. Um, that'll open up your uh, profile and you want to go into BetBinex, plugins and find the mod, Peanut Butter Avatar Creatures. And here there's a bunch of files. The one that we care about is this Unity package. So this is the tool that you can use to export it. So you just run that. So I've already imported it into this project, but um, import the project. And once that's there, you can then go to peanut tools and then go to avatar creature generator. That'll pop up a little, a little window. You can just dock it anywhere. And um, it's basically just follow the steps. So the, the mod assumes that you have a pretty basic avatar. So you will want to like uh, kind of simplify your avatar as much as you can. So get rid of particle systems, get rid of, you know, fizz bones, whatever game that you play, get rid of all that extra stuff. So I'll get rid of some particles, fizz bones, some accessories. You want to basically have, you know, just your avatar by itself. No accessories, or you can have accessories, it probably will work, but for now we'll keep it simple. Uh, then you want to drag that into that slot. So it'll tell you if it's not ready yet. So maybe there's an issues with some bones and stuff. Um, then you want to check some boxes if you, if you need to. So if you want to do like third person mode, you probably want to have that turned on. Um, there's a way to use an avatar as a default. Check that on if you want to, whatever. Uh, then you use your Steam ID. So you just go to the website, find your Steam ID, copy the Steam ID 64 des and it should be a 17 digit number. Then you want to enter in where your lethalcompany.exe file is, which for me is here. Um, so that'll, and it looks like this. So the mod relies on there being a folder called avatars. And that's where all of these asset bundles for all the players that you play with should be. So if you have all your friends, they've got their own avatars, then you want to put it inside of here. So for mine, for me, it's empty for now. Um, and then, yeah, make sure it's uh, ready to go and then click on generate. So what it does, as, as you can see in the list, it will take all of your, your renderers, it'll rename all of your FBX files, it'll rename your maps. So it supports albedo, smoothness, normal and emission. Um, and then it basically adds it into an asset bundle. And an asset bundle is a special name for basically just uh, a zip file glorifies your file. Um, it might fail the first time I've found that happen. So when in doubt, let's do it again. You can kind of do it as many times as you want. It should be fine. Um, I use like a first shader and other and Poyomi and stuff. So it's going to take a while for that to happen. Uh, once it's happened, it should copy uh, the output into your Steam your Steam game folder into the avatars folder. Once it's there, then you can then send that to your friends and uh, they they place it in the avatars folder. And then when you run the game with the mod, it should detect that automatically. To be honest, I don't know why it imports everything again, but whatever. <laughs> Um, it also, I think it also resizes it to like 512 by 512. That That's kind of intentional to keep the file size small and also because in the game it's pretty pixelated anyway. So it makes sense to do that. Cool, and then it should be finished. I guess it has to, it has to compile my first data for some reason, whatever. Unity is kind of weird sometimes.
cool. Finally, this is building us a bundle. Sweet. Okay, cool. So it's actually, it's done it now. And it tells you it's three megabytes. So you obviously want to try and keep that as small as you can. And three megabytes is really small. And if I go into my uh, avatars folder, you'll see that there is a zero because I take that box. And then there's, there's the steam digits dot asset bundle. So for your friends, you want to send them your own asset bundle with the 17 digits. That way when the mod loads, it should all detect them fine. Um, and that's kind of all you gotta do.